Mission analysis, sir. Mr. Prescott wants a more detailed scan of the surface before he can make a recommendation. That's why we're going. The atmosphere is ionized, and our ship's sensors can't penetrate to the surface. Which is why you need to be extra careful, Jack. We don't know what's down there. There have been other expeditions there before. I hear it's pretty. It's been ten years since the last report. And being so close to the Federation border... We've been over this, Commander. There's room enough for a small security team in here. Mike. Just one? Not this time. Besides, it's just a geological survey. A rock hunt. Dr. Bishop and I will be back in less than ten hours. I'll be timing you. <laughs> you know, you worry too much. Dr. Bishop? Captain Carter? Prepare for departure. Bridge, open shuttle bay doors. Safe travels, Jack. Captain's personal log. Start at 4901.2. I am heading out on a geological survey mission to Sibylla, an uninhabited planet near colony Midas 5. With me is an old acquaintance, Dr. Angela Bishop of the Lexington. She is one of Starfleet's finest planetary scientists and renowned geologist specializing in energy crystals and mining techniques, both of which may come in handy. Our mission? Determine Sibylle's viability as a dilithium mining station. On a personal note, I'm hoping to spend some quality time reminiscing with an old friend. So then RT tells Mike, you're paying half. <laughs> you always could make me laugh. Well, you must have a dry sense of humor. Mike doesn't think I'm funny at all. And it's been too long since we sat and talked like this. Way too long. And you haven't changed at all. You know, my friends at the Academy kept telling me not to go out with you. Really? Why'd they say that? Probably because you had already dated most of them. I was just trying to get your attention. Wait a minute. I think I've got something. I'm getting better scans since we cleared the upper atmosphere. Yeah. Yes. I'm getting definite indications of dilithium. Very dense concentrations. Jack. Captain. Please land the shuttlecraft at these coordinates. I've never known any woman to get so excited about rocks. Locked under those coordinates, Doctor. Approaching that location now.
I can't believe how much dilithium is on this planet. Not only that, I'm picking up other rare minerals, including tricobalt actinolite. It's a good thing Krug never heard of this place. Who? Never mind. Artie said this planet was reported as being unremarkable, but... Jack, I'm picking up even greater amounts of dilithium deep inside the planet. Commander. What is it, Morak? I have good news for you. Too bad we didn't bring a blanket. We could have had a picnic. You know, I never could figure that out. Figure out what? Your fascination with picnics. My mother used to take me on a lot of picnics as a kid. We'd shut over to Spain and eat by the shore. Those sound like good memories. They were. Why didn't we ever discuss things like this before? I don't know. I suppose we were both too busy. Me with starships and you with rocks. rocks. Well, it's not exactly the coast of Spain. But it is quiet and peaceful. And we are most decidedly alone. That's a mood breaker. Looks like we weren't alone after all. Who are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? I have no intention of telling you anything, Earther. How many of you are on the surface? What's your mission? You'll get nothing from me. I've heard that one before. Have you? My guess is that there's just one or two more of them. What makes you think that? Scouts. They must have heard this planet was rich in dilithium and couldn't resist checking it out. But they wouldn't risk sending a warship this far in the Federation space. Probably a long-range shuttlecraft. They can't scan from orbit because of the ionized atmosphere. They had to come down here to investigate, just like us. Well, if that's true, and they report on the huge discovery of dilithium crystals here... Car to Farragut. Come in, Farragut. Something's jamming my signal. That confirms there's someone else here on the planet. What do we do now? Look out! <laughs> Heavy stun? Was that really necessary? Sorry, no hypo. We need to get back to the Farragut. You've completed your survey. Yes, I have everything I need for my analysis. Let's go. The shuttlecraft isn't far.
Someone, please, tell me why Phenoms seem to think human women are so weak. Angela. Do I look defenseless? Do they think we don't get training? Okay, so I don't look like a warrior. Angela. Oh my goodness. Help? What? Oh! Ow. Oh, Jack. I'm sorry. Are you all right? I'll live. Where were we before we were rudely interrupted? Mmm. Oh, God. Did that hurt? Yeah, but it's a good kind of pain. You always could make me laugh. What about Borok? I'm sure he'll be long gone by the time we get back with the security team. <laughs> security. What's so funny? Smithfield is never gonna let me live this one down.
in association with NEO FX, visualizing the digital universe.